It was a gathering of the like-minded on a blustery lunch hour in hopes of getting the message out about the importance of sparing old growth forests. It's been the message from Conservation North since its inception four years ago and is based on science. When we started, we actually formed because we had a scientific perspective on what's happening to the natural world. Uh, most of us, when we got the group off the ground, have have backgrounds in ecology and biology. So it was actually kind of founded on an understanding, a scientific understanding of what's happening to the natural environment in this region. I know we've got other issues and problems, but this one is existential. That means if we don't do something, we may not be here. Conservation North has joined forces with Scientist Rebellion on this issue, and at today's gathering, the discussion was around climate change and how important forests are in combating it. When we look at forests, we realize that they're really important to the uptake of greenhouse gases, the storage of carbon, if you like, and it's our oldest forests that store the most carbon. So by removing them, we're essentially putting that carbon eventually into the atmosphere. Art Fredine says scientists traditionally produce the data and hope the world understands what it means, and often it doesn't. Scientist Rebellion hopes to change that. I think now we're realizing that a lot of the science is very complex, and we're in a very uh, important, we're in a, in a way a very um, critical part of the, the whole system of, of actually creating this information, and then we should be also interpreting it. Uh, as best we can so that society can do things with it. Conservation North's mandate seeks protection for remaining primary forests, recognition of the value of those forests, and a transition away from the industrial harvest of a primary forest. So is there ever a point when science and industry can meet? We need to transition rapidly away from logging primary forests where you have the really big trees and towards forests that have been logged in the past with smaller diameter trees. So in fact, our, our interests are actually aligned with people that believe in um, you know, a really forward-looking approach to economic development here, which is one that moves away from primary and old-growth forest logging. A primary forest is disturbed naturally by things like wildfire, wind, or insects, but not by logging or other industrial human activities. Cheryl Jan, CKPG News.